welcome back to another episode of JR Bassin. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review on my Tahatsu 9.8 motor, so let's get right into it. So this motor produces 9.8 horsepower, which pushes this boat about 16 miles an hour. It is a four-stroke motor, so it runs on just straight gasoline. And since it's a four-stroke, it doesn't make any smoke because it's not burning oil. And it also runs very quietly. The startup on this motor is very easy. So what you do to start it up is you just give it a pull until it clicks, and then you give it a strong pull. And it will start right up every time. When you give this thing a twist of the throttle, she is not scared to give you all she's got. So the controls on this motor are pretty simple. So here we have a gear selector, forward, neutral, and reverse. Here we have a choke. Here is where the kill switch lander is attached. And this is also the stop button. In the middle, we have an oil light, which turns on when we start the motor and turns off shortly after. And that light will also come on if you're driving and your motor starts losing oil. And it will also limit your rev to I think 2,500 RPM. Right next to that, we have the fuel connector and it doesn't ever drip gas in the lake. It never actually is enough to spill over for anyone who's concerned about that. And it slides back on pretty simply. If you had an electric start on this motor, the button would be right here. However, I just have a pull start on this engine. Coming around to the back of the engine, we can see the latch to remove the cowling. To remove the cowling, you simply loosen that latch and then take the cowling and lift it up like that and then take it off to the side. Here is where an electric start motor would be. Right here, we have the intake. Here is the carburetor and the oil dipstick. Over here are the spark plugs, and right down there you can see the fuel filter. To tilt up the motor, you put it in forward gear, take the tiller down, and just push it down just enough to pick the motor up a little bit, and then you can come around here and pick it up the rest of the way. Tilt the motor down, what you do is you just pick it up and then flip this little bracket up and then drop it down. To give the motor gas, you twist the throttle towards you and to let it off, you twist away. To engage forward gear, go forward, go back to neutral, and to go in reverse, just push it that way. Then reverse. Neutral, forward. So to make the lower unit last longer, you don't want to slowly shift in the gear. You want to just whack it in. And you, and you also don't want to go straight from forward, straight back in the reverse. This motor quickly responds to throttle. The motor is held on with clamps. However, if you want to, there is a bolting option if you can see it right here. So that concludes my review of this motor. It runs pretty good, as you can see back there, and I like it a lot, and I definitely recommend it on your boat. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel, and I will see y'all in the next episode of JR Bassin.